Hi, my name's Margaret Peary. I'm the owner of Orange Theory Fitness Brampton Lionhead, which we're sitting in today, and Orange Theory Fitness Brampton South. We're a high intensity interval training studio that provides group fitness, and it's the best one hour workout in Canada. So yes, COVID has greatly impacted our, our business. We were shut down on March 17th, 2020, and um, this studio that we're in, Lionhead, had only been open for about one month. Our grand opening was February 14th, 2020. And that first month of operations is absolutely key that will set you up for cash flow for the rest of your operating time. So we only had one, one month's worth of business and we were forced to, sh to close our doors. We didn't open again until August of 2020 and we were open for six short weeks before we were forced to close again on October the 9th. At that time, when we were allowed to reopen, we were running at about a third capacity. We can accommodate up to 36 people in our classes and we were only running with 12. We wanted to open, we had some new coaches, we had some new staff and more importantly, it was important to keep everybody safe. We wanted to train everybody on the new COVID procedures and we were planning to build in more people after that. Unfortunately, uh, the beginning of October, the government said that we could only have an operating capacity of 10 participants in each class. They gave us very little time to change our class schedule. Uh, and then they did shut us down and we did not reopen again until July 16th. So it's, it's been very stressful. Um, you know, you think, especially here where we had focused all of our energy on opening a brand new studio, driving memberships, and you just, you have so much momentum and you're so excited for a new business opportunity and then boom, the doors were shut. And, you know, it was, it was just so, it was like somebody had, you know, put a needle in a, in a balloon and we just deflated us because, and at that time they said, oh, it's only going to be two weeks. We were so optimistic and then it ended up being months and now at the end of it, almost 17 months of closures. Fortunately for us, we've always used premium cleaning supplies. So we didn't have to invest in any additional cleaning products because what we use is actually recommended and our products do have a DIN number and a, um, a like a, a time where if it sits, it, it kills 99.9% .9 of all germs. So what we have done now is that uh, you have to wait outside until the class starts or until we until a sales associate comes out they do a COVID screening and then they basically bring you in and put you on a machine you have to keep your mask on until the instructor starts the class and they go through a whole COVID spiel about safety and so once you're on a treadmill or on a rower or on your floor mask the coach will then give a safety speech and then they'll start the class in our classes, you move between each block, right? So the treadmills, the rowers, and the floor. Now, after each block, the instructor will say, please put your mask on. You, they hand out wipes. We've always, always, always wiped down the equipment. So the instructor will pass out your wipes. You wipe everything down. You put your mask on, and then they lead you to your machine. So it's everything, every movement within the studio is very controlled by our staff. Of course it is. Everything within here, we, we do a COVID screening. You have to book your class ahead of time. Then we screen you when you come in. We have contact tracing for everybody. If you have any symptoms whatsoever, we won't allow you to come in. If you've traveled, if you answer yes to any of the COVID questions, we don't allow you to come in. That's been very tricky too, because a lot of people get upset, you know? And because our classes are reservation based, if you cancel outside of an eight hour window, there is a penalty for that. So previously, you know, a lot of people would call and say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling well today. I can't come in. So when we get that, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling well call, it's like, oh my God, is it COVID? What symptoms are you having? Sorry, you can't come for two weeks. 
or until your symptoms have passed or produce a negative COVID test. So unfortunately, some people don't like that. They, they think it's extreme or of course, you know, they've, they've just, they don't want to take the penalty, so they want to avoid it. And we take everything very seriously because we have to. Keeping our members and our staff and our community safe is our top priority right now. Well, at Orange Theory, our, I think what sets us apart from everybody else is our community environment. So at Orange Theory, we have our own community of members and staff, and it's very tight-knit. It is very much like a, a very small family or a large family even. So when you do support local and you support the community, you're supporting me, you're supporting my family, you're supporting my staff. You know, I've, I've been a member of the Brampton community almost my entire life. And, you know, this is where, when I opened Orange Theory, I could have opened it anywhere really, because I got in sort of at the beginning. And I chose to open it in Brampton because this is where my people are. And so when you support local, you're supporting our community, you're supporting me. I'm just like everybody else. You know, I have two kids, a husband, two dogs, you know, bills to pay. So um, it's not like it's, a, a, you know, your money, your dollars are going towards me, not to a large franchise or to a good life corporation. You know, I'm just an average person like everybody else here. <laughs> to those people, there's a lot of people that have stood by us through this. It's not just me, you know, it's my, my team, you know, Ty and Annie and, and Tamaya, they're really the foundation here. And, you know, you've, there are a lot of people that have stuck by us. You've been so loyal. And to the people that are interested in coming out, you know, we are here for you. We're here to support you. We want to help you achieve your goals, whether it's a healthier, you know, mindset, a healthier physical body, whatever it is, we want to be here to support you. Um, the last year has been horrendous on every single person on the face of the earth that's going through this pandemic. And, you know, there's a lot of um, fallout with mental health. I know myself some days it's, it's very hard and we want to help people and by working out and getting fitter and stronger mentally and physically, we're here to help.